Turns out, an accidental isn't just something you didn't mean to happen. On the staff, the notes on the lines and spaces are by default considered natural. That C is just a C, and this F is just an F. As I said last time, we go from A to G. Well, that would only give us seven notes, and as we know, there are twelve. And for that, we have sharps, flats, and naturals. These are called accidentals. These symbols will raise or lower the pitch of a note by a half step. If I were to place a sharp in front of a C, it would become C sharp, one half step higher than C natural. If I were to place a flat in front of an A, it would become A flat, one half step lower than A natural. If I were to place a natural in front of a G sharp, it would become a G natural, or one half step down from G sharp. However, since these accidentals are always in relation to the notes that they alter, if I were to place a natural in front of a G flat, it would also become a G natural, one half step higher than G flat. But what if the note is G flat and I want to lower it a half step? This is called a double flat. Similarly, if I have an F sharp and I want to raise it by a half step, we get F double sharp. So F sharp is a half step above F, and F double sharp is two half steps above F, or what we call a whole step. The order of these accidentals from lowest to highest is double flat, flat, natural, sharp, double sharp. Of course, it would be really tedious if we had to write out every single accidental. And for that, we have a shortcut called key signatures. Key signatures allow us to write the accidental once at the beginning of the piece. After that, we only have to write an accidental if the note lies outside of the key. But I'm getting ahead of myself. There will be an entire video to talk about key signatures. Thanks for watching Two Minute Music Theory. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And I'll see you next time.